Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> All of the nostalgia. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Good Influences. I am your host, Matt King, with Aaron Gilfoy, Carly and Contro, and Mike Sheffer. And today we're talking about one of our favorite subjects, one that we seem to steer a lot towards is mm. nostalgia. Do you remember all the little things about our past and our childhood <laughs> that have just stuck with us over all the years? Um, you know, oh, well, I guess, you know, we're, we're, we're millennials. We're part of the millennial generation. We're 90s kids. Um, uh, I feel like that's, in my opinion, most nostalgic time to be alive. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's wrong because that's like our nostalgia. Yeah. But the 90s are so nostalgic. Because yeah, we experienced I think like a very interesting moment in culture because it was the end of like, like mechanical entertainment. We had like VHSs and like we didn't have iPads. We had to like yeah. get on computers. We saw the beginning of a huge peak in technology that for a lot of other generations I feel like it's just has always conveniently been in front of them. Yeah. And so with that, it was like I don't know. Well, you remember like we were in the '90s and you would look at the '80s and you're like. That's so archaic. Yeah. 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 The, the 80s seems like it was so long. so crazy that we lived through it. Yeah. Before we start. Oh, I'm sorry if I just feel like I was black. No, no. Um, <laughs> I went to the Poconos with some friends over the oh, weekend. Yeah. Super fun. And what we like to do when we go to these like towns in upstate New York or whatever is find an antique shop Ooh, and go antiquing because it's just like fun to go find some like small shop of some woman who's like, we've been here since the 40s. <laughs> yeah. And like, you, I got some really cool stuff, but I did. I usually give Matt gifts on Hoot and Half, but I got Matt something. Gifts? Stop! Yeah. Right now? Yep. What? No. Oh, what is it? This um, is confusing because you said you don't like that. <laughs> well, I, like, <laughs> I left the price on also so he can see what it is. <laughs> um, so I got this at, and considering that we're doing nostalgia, I got this at an antique shop. I thought it was fair to give you. <gasps> oh, it fits in his oh, pocket. I'm excited. Oh, guesses? Oh! <gasps> Oh, stop! I love it. It's, a, it's, a, it's like an ashtray, or like a, I think it's a candies oh, tray, but it's in the shape of oh, Texas. No, it's an ashtray. Very no, it's cute. a candies tray. Lamb's candies. Like they used to do this in the seventies and eighties. You'd put out bowls and put candy, candy? in the bowls. Mike. Yeah, there you go. Does this count as a little gift? Yeah. Are you mad? How cool. <laughs> a little drink it. I love okay, it. Okay, now if Patricia brought this, <laughs> I'd be like, how much money <laughs> you spend? <laughs> is that this cool? Is what so this neat. Say? Should we put it in the middle of the table? Or one Texas piece of decor. Sand. Yeah. Oh, I think this was a tray for candy. Yeah, for lamb's is, candies. Um, oh, there it is. How much? $28. Mike. Oh, my God. Big spend. Big spend $28 Spenda. Is, is high. It's a high-priced item at an antique shop. There's stuff for like, yeah. you know, 30 cents, $2. That was a big boy. I don't, like, nothing though, I've been, nothing like, um, you saw reminded you of me, Carly? <laughs> not really. It was a lot of like manly like tools and like... We're not manly. Okay, okay. God, I'm digging myself a deeper hole. <laughs> oh, I saw something at an antique shop. I should have. I should have got you. Actually, um, it was a gas mask from the Cold War. <laughs> you think I would have liked? I just said it because you got him a gift. Yeah, yeah. but we were. I was that one, and I was like. This is fucking crazy. Yeah. A gas mask from the Cold from War. The Cold from War. the Cold War. And then there's also a knife how from How much World was War. it? I didn't see the price. Ugh. Probably pretty hefty. I still don't yeah. understand how a gas mask like works. I think there's got to be a filter they in it. They don't work. I'm mean, anti-gas mask. Yeah. <laughs> there's just, like filters in it, right? Yeah, yeah, but just a lot of filters where it yeah. just filters it all out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think. Couldn't tell Not you. a scientist. Yeah. Um, Wasn't in the Cold War. But it's <laughs> wild, like, how many, like, little things from our past are now, like, worth a lot. Like, it's crazy, like, Pokemon cards. Yeah. The, uh, people thought they were worth nothing, and then now they're kind of worth something. Beanie, beanie babies. babies. Everyone really thought are they were worth something now. Beanie, beanie babies. babies aren't. Were we all beanie baby collectors? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. There was definitely a craze, but then m my dad was very like, screw this. Like, we're not, we're not doing the <laughs> we're beanie baby thing oh. anymore. Well, also... There was nothing I hated about Beanie Babies was that here's this valuable thing. Don't take the tag off like this snug little oh, yeah. air. And you couldn't. Oh, I did. I took them off. Yeah, oh, I took them off. really? There were certain ones that I like had like Princess, Princess Diana. Diana. Did you have the little tag cover too? Oh, oh, no, I had her in a glass. Yeah. She yeah. was in a glass case. Oh, oh my wow. God. Um, but for Designer. the most part, like there were a few that I was like, these are like the nice ones. Also, I was like, she's the queen. Like I can't play Princess with her. Princess Diana? Or the princess, whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, there was a Princess Diana, yeah, like it was Remembrance blue, one. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it like it was it was with, the pea, with, the, with the white rose on with it? With the peace sign on him? No. No, <laughs> that one was. That was Jerry Garcia. <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember this, but. Um, he was one that I kept nice. Okay. Were they Jewish Beanie Babies? Definitely not. <laughs> I feel like Webkins took over Beanie Babies. Oh, Webkins. I fucking loved Beanie oh. Babies. 
I I worked at a toy store at Webkins were big, and I was like, I don't get this. I've never heard of Webkins. Webkins well, like. came after Beanie Babies, but what was cool about Webkins is that it gave you like a digital code that yeah. you could enter onto the website. Like, in, in, it was like a Club Penguin. It was like a Neopets. Oh, but it's a physical thing. Neopets. Too? Speaking of uh, Neopets, was anyone on Neopets? No. I tried, but it gave my computer so many viruses, and my dad what? was like, "Don't ever oh go God. on Neopets." That was like my first gamer girl game. <laughs> I, I, never, yeah, I never had a good time on Neopets because my computer would just start slowing down, and I couldn't oh. uh, uh, get around it. You oh, don't remember it was Neopets? So fun. I remember it. I just didn't do, do it. I don't it think. was just like digital. Pets on a screen that you had to feed. Yeah, it was like poke. They looked it like Pokemon. Like, yeah, and you could just you had to keep them alive. And Can you, you could name go them? And, I think so. I think you could name <laughs> them whatever remember. you wanted. What would you name yours? Uh, I don't know, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but like, were they like Pokemon? Were like Pikachu or like Charizard? Or they're just no, no, no. It's like a whole different thing. But do they have names, or they're just all different I don't, characters? I really don't remember. No, answer every question. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember there were games, and it's funny because you know the card game bullshit. Yes. Yeah. Oh. They had that, but they called it cheat on there because it was. Did you play online with oh. other Neopetters? Uh huh. I play. You were I think talking so. to strangers on the internet. I th- okay, Dad. Sorry. <laughs> I just didn't remember. I didn't know Neopets was like a multiplayer. I thought it was like a one solo. No, and you could chat with people. And I remember people were would get like banned because <gasps> they'd be like cyber sexing. <laughs> On oh, Neo. Oh yeah, cybering. That's what it was cybering. called. Do you want a cyber? Oh, that was yeah. the that was the original <laughs> sexting was cybering. cybering. Which is just typing yeah. boobs into I used the... to do that like on oh, RuneScape. Yeah, with the <laughs> yeah. Parentheses. On RuneScape. Remember RuneScape? The, the, well, Neopets didn't have a physical manifestation of it, right? It was just no. you had yeah. to go on your computer. Yeah. yeah. It was like a website. Did you guys have Digimon or no. Tamagotchi? Oh, Tamagotchi, yes. That was the coolest thing in the world. The Tamagotchi was next so level. Cool. Because that's like Neopets, but in your hand. Did you and have a Tamagotchi? Like, I feel like I did not like them. You like remember they were like the little keychain. Oh, I know what it is. I was just like, this is so annoying, and then you just like put it in cupboard, (laughs) and you're like, just stop Stop beeping at two (laughs) a.m. Yeah, I think it was like the first like digital product that I owned, and I was like, this is. It was cool because it was handheld, like computer, and it's like a little guy. Your first iPhone, yeah, it's your first iPhone. (laughs) Yeah, and then you can like, well, there was a different kind called Digimon where you can like link up to your other friends. Oh, I always thought those were cards. Digimon, wait, Digimon, digital digital monsters, Digimon are they? Wait, what was Digimon? Digimon was a card game that was a competitor to Pokemon, but no, when was there a thinking Digimon? of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Wait, no, Digimon, no, Digimon was, had It was cards. a TV show. Digimon, Digital, Digital Monsters. Monsters. Digimon. Du-du-du. Yeah, no, but it was a little bo- It was a little square blue thing that you would connect, and there was like a little metal, and you connect it to your friends, so you can fight your friends with it. Ooh. It was like the guy version of Tamagotchi. Okay. Like, Tamagotchis okay. were for girls, Digimon was Wait, for boys. Wait, Tamagotchis, Digimon, you could like, you connect rich. them to each other? Not Tamagotchi. Oh, it was like 20 bucks. Oh, to buy the thing? Yeah, it wasn't that much. Do you remember money. scanners? Scanners? Scanners were those, like, handheld. They were like Pokemon things, but you could go to, like, grocery stores and scan barcodes, and you could catch a monster inside of it. Yes! Yeah. Yes! And then you would, battle, never... you would battle up, like, scanners. <laughs> battle up. Battle <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. Did you guys ever that. have Talk Girl or Talk Boy? Like, oh. walkie-talkies? No, they were, like... Square and they had like the, you put a cassette in a blank like cassette. Like in Home Alone too. Yes, and it's like has a little microphone at the top and you can record your voice and then play it back oh, and stuff. You know, I fun don't fact about Home Alone too. He has that thing in it. They hadn't come out with that toy yet, like or that wasn't it fully didn't invented. It was like a prop, and they decided to make it after Home Alone too. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's true. But yeah, uh, mm. I used to. Well, I used to have you know like in Toy Story the little. Uh, kids recorder thing that yeah, talks yeah. the microphone uh-huh. i had one of those and we would go around and like record our own like shows and oh stuff. yeah 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 Cute. Mm-hmm. i know i just remember being home and i was trying to sing britney spears like when i was alone and sing it and listen back and be like oh why am i not good i gotta do it again <laughs> and like i think i just thought that if you did it enough you'd be good oh it was so well, bad technically if you do do it enough you could be good but okay. not. Uh, not the way i was doing it are you two are we, were y'all barbie girls or like Bratz or Cabbage Patch? I think Bratz was, was your... a little after our childhood. Yeah, Bratz was definitely Polly after. Pocket. Polly Pockets I had. I mean, definitely Cabbage Patch. Definitely You got Barbie. Cabbage Patch kids? Yeah. Is that the thing that poops? <laughs> no, they're just like <laughs> little a... dolls that smell real, like a baby. They're like the faces. Cabbage Patch like you dolls. Know I don't know like... anybody that actually bought. They were so scary looking and like no, not cute. So cute. They were big in the 80s. Ugh. I you one. know what a Cabbage Patch doll looks like. I do like. know what they look like. I mean, I know I do. I just can't Also like the name Cabbage Patch like... They're no. so funny and they smelt good. <laughs> Is that part of their thing? Like they actually put smell like a baby. 
Or is that just like you think they smell that way? Is it like I a selling know. point for them where they're like, oh, it smells I like baby? I literally have no you idea. Know you can go to like the Cabbage Patch like doll factory and it's like a nursery and like they, the Cabbage Patch heads like grow out of the ground and they have this like show Stop. where like a woman comes out with like, you know, a stethoscope <laughs> and like, song. oh my God. What yeah. And their heads were like so no, heavy. That, yeah, oh no, God. they're so they ugly. They were so cute. I never understood who was buying and, them. And like their head was the only hard part of them and then they their were Their body was just, soft? Yeah, just like soft bodies. I never had those. I think I had like one or two. I definitely I, you know had. What I would yeah. love to do. I would love to go to Build a Bear and Build a Bear. Yes. Can we do that today? Does it still you want exist? To go to Build a Bear. Yeah, they still exist. Oh my God. Is there, but there's a Build a Bear across the street. Across the street, there's a mall right there. Oh, is there? Do you want me to look the closest? See if there is a Build a Bear. <laughs> do you think? Do you think that they would let us do it? What do you mean? Yeah. 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 Like, hey, oh, okay, guys. Yeah. Because yeah. we're, we're in this economy, getting... they have to say yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, adults can get them for kids as gifts. Yeah, yeah that's true. I had a couple of Build a Bears. I had a, Did you I had a uh, orange cat named Cheddar in a karate Aww. outfit. Did you Aww. believe it when you were building it that you were like, because. I... Wait, were we young enough for it? Oh, dude, we were like fifth grade when Build a yeah. Bear. Okay. <laughs> well, I remember my youngest brother, Johnny, who was five or six years younger than me. We went to build a bear, and I was old enough to know that this is like not real. Yeah. But the performance that they give you, where they're like, you're picking Here's your bear, heart. he's gonna get come to heart. life. Yeah. You give the heart a kiss, and that's what makes him turn alive. Isn't it's there like a tracker in it, like a barcode, where they're like, if you <laughs> and camera? your if you and your bear ever go on an adventure, and you guys get lost, and someone finds it, you can bring it into build a bear, and we can oh, get it back wow. to you. No way. Yeah, there's literally yeah. one at that I, mall. I want to like try to get my build a bear and take it back in and be like, scan it. Is, it, <laughs> is my information still come up? <laughs> Wait, do you have one? You still have it? Yeah, yeah. It's you still no have way. your Build-A-Bear? Yeah, my my cat Cheddar in the karate outfit. <laughs> like you with doing? you or your parents I, have it? I, my parents have it. Oh, I don't okay. have it. No. It's in your Tell bed. them to ship it. Text them right now. Okay, can you ship me? <laughs> ship my Build-A-Bear. I definitely See? had Barbies, though. Did you have play with Barbies? Oh, yeah. I would like, I, we would play for hours with Barbies and like make up like real situations. I would like cry because I would get so into character. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm like, oh, my Ken doll doesn't love my Barbie. <laughs> just relationship like, with drama. With other people. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I would just get them naked. <laughs> <laughs> I did that too. Just to see what's going on. Do you remember Cut how Barbie, Barbie had, oh, mm-hmm. remember she would have like her like underwear. It was like skin, but it was like a pattern. I don't remember. This is serial killer no. level. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> like it was actually underwear, like a cloth. No, it was still like on her plastic body, but it was this like pattern in skin color. And I was like, is this what girls look like uh, underneath? underneath? I don't know. I, yeah, as a kid, I was like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Just no body parts. Yeah. Do kids buy toys today? Like, is that a thing? Because every week I feel like there was a new, oh, you got to get the Razor scooter, got to get the Tamagotchi, you got to get the oh. Barbie. And like, or a scanner, everything is just on an iPad now. Like every yeah. toy, like, are there still kids who are like, oh, we got to get the yeah. goop, whatever. I mean, like toy stores still exist. And then like those like slime was a big thing. Those like yeah. weird balls, like Nerf guns. I think it's just like, we aren't in it's a situation where us. we would like ever right. see that. Yeah. We're I like, think that definitely. like people, all those Barbie dolls that they make now that like people put them in water and they had like weird shit on them like that was a big trend people and put them in water, water and had weird yeah, it was like shit all these moms on. on tiktok were like don't buy these dolls like it's like you put them in like water oh, and then oh, like the thing that like erupts and you have the magic wand and stuff no oh. it was like these dolls that people were buying like one mom like oh my daughter brought it with her in the bath and then all of a sudden there was a swastika on her or something not what? actually that but it was like I, stuff I like that I love toy drama we're like, so, like, <laughs> yeah. we're like if you do it if you pl- press this button three times it says like something demonic like, <laughs> yeah. I, I think I it was actually like something sexual but it was like okay, okay. like I would never think that yeah. but um, that was like a whole thing but was there's there like a Barbie whose hair changed colors. Yes. In the warm oh. water. And you get the yes. warm water. Yes. Yes. That shit was magic. Oh, that was Barbie. Fun. I remember it's like, I was like a boy being like, it's a Barbie. I'm like, but that's kind of fucking cool. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. What about Play Doh? Oh, oh yeah. love Play Doh. Did, did you guys have the dentist one? I had the barber one with like the hair. Oh, yes. It would like, come like, out strings. and you would just give it a nice. Oh, str- oh like molds for it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, they had so many molds. There was like a, yeah, a dentist one. It was like a face and you would put the teeth in and you could like drill and. Do root canals. <laughs> like, I just had the tubs, I didn't, and then you just like kind of roll them, and then your hands smell bad, and you're like, what? "Can I go outside?" <laughs> when I was in preschool, this was my favorite thing to do as a kid. They would put like a piece of plastic, like a big long plastic paper, over the table, and then just spray it with shaving cream, and just 
play with it? Yeah. And like, <laughs> yeah. No, but, like, you could make, like, patterns with it. It was That's really so smart. fun and, like, way less messy than Play-Doh. It was great. I loved it. There was nothing worse, though. You you didn't seal a Play-Doh oh, up the whole way. Drag. And you open that up, and it is just stale. Hard. Stale. Could you even get it back? Could no, it ever... it's like bread. That's what it is, right? Isn't it just I feel like dough? I would, like, try to wet it. <gasps> Did it you was always like if you the, wet it. The lid and make the imprint yes. with the lid. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Or like newspaper. Like, oh, yeah, oh, newspaper. Silly putty. Oh, silly putty. Oh, silly putty. Silly putty, Hey, yeah. what's the difference? I can't think of the difference. Silly putty is like uh, almost like rubbery it's and like, like shiny. Yeah, <laughs> oh. it's like bubble gum. And you can like throw it at the ceiling and it would stick. Okay. And it came in the eggs, the little eggs. A little red uh, egg. And it was like skin Oh, yes, 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 yes. green. They had different had colors. Oh, really? Yeah. Mine was always just like silly putty, and it would always get hairy, and like no. you'd get crumbs in it, and then you're like, "Well, this is done." I have a silly putty story. Ooh. I put it on my eyebrows once, <laughs> and because I was just like, "Look, I'm a little green monster," <laughs> and then I started to take oh, it no. off, and it literally got stuck to my <gasps> eyebrows, and I had to sit there with ice packs on my eyebrows for like hours to try to get it all off did it come off <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah just like a little air. <laughs> yeah and we I'm were leaving monster. i had done it like my cousins had just gotten to the house oh and God. we were about to leave to go on a camping trip so i was like sitting there like with ice packs <laughs> on my eyebrows in the car like driving to go camping it was and like, what oh does no. ice packs do dry it like freezes it yeah it's like you know if you get like gum in your hair and you put like ice on or it peanut or butter. peanut butter it was like very much that kind of situation Peanut butter. You never heard about peanut butter? Yeah, that's like a whole thing. I, I don't know if I hair? believe it. Are you guys making this up? No. You've Dude, never heard of If you have gum this? in here, you're going to put something sticky in your hair? And the peanut butter is like almost like an oil in a way. Who has gum? Let's try it. <laughs> Dude, that's the number <laughs> one like, like uh, uh, old wives tale. Old wives, yeah. Like, or mayo. The thing to do is ice. if you get pe- uh, gum in here, you got to put peanut butter in it. Everyone yeah. says that. I feel like you've never heard of this. Also- this episode is sponsored by Way, one of my favorite hair brands, by the way. No pun intended. Oh, this is cringy. <laughs> Now's the time of year when we start slacking on our New Year's resolutions. I get it. Resolutions are hard, but Way is here to help you create a hair and scalp routine you'll actually want to keep. Feeling flaky, hair looking dull, Way has a product for all of your hair care goals. I will say I have used so many Way products. They all smell literally incredible i have like two different leave-in conditioner sprays that i have and i pretty much use it because it smells so good it works really well with my hair it also just smells so good i'm like this is basically a hair perfume <laughs> i've used their shampoo i've used their conditioner i even have some soap and hand lotion like everything is so great it feels luxurious it makes my hair feel luxurious and it makes me luxurious they have a detox shampoo that gives your scalp and hair a reset a concentrated shampoo that cleanses away product buildup hard water deposits dirt oil and more perfect for oiliness unwanted shine and flaky or dry scalp they also have a scalp serum that balances and hydrates the scalp a daily scalp serum that can be used day or night with wet or dry hair soothes irritation and keeps your hair stronger and fuller through a healthy hydrated balanced scalp the way to stay Start Healthy Hair starts here. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com and use code GOOD for 15% off your entire purchase. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com, code GOOD. So did you guys, Carly told me this earlier at her school, like I go, did you bring lunch oh. or did you buy lunch at school? And she goes, you mean hot lunch or cold lunch? And I go, <laughs> did you guys call it that? I go, I, I go, I go, I come again. Know. That's the most brash thing I've ever heard in my life. Lunch, cold lunch. <laughs> So, Hot lunch is when you eat at school. It's like, you know, beef cutlet, pizza, ew. whatever. No, no, no. The beef cutlet was... I love how disgusted Matt is with Top this. tier. Cold lunch means you get the same meal, but it's cold. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Cold lunch was you bring your lunch to school. So like every day at the beginning oh, of no. class, the teacher would say, okay, who is hot lunch today? And people would raise their what? hand. So that they is... could get a count for like lunchtime. No. That is so Nebraska. Wait, yeah. for lunchtime? Uh-huh. That's really mean? cool. For lunch. So but, they could get a head start on the day to like know how many students lunch. are going to have, like how much food they need to make. Oh, interesting. That was just like elementary school. In high school, it was different. Yeah. But, yeah. But did you remember Lunchables, the Pokemon cards that used to be? Remember they, they were on the back of a Lunchable and kids would cut the back of a Lunchable and, no, get, the I little, don't and get the little cardboard Pokemon card? <laughs> no, that's, no, that's Shit, not. Man. Buy a pack, brother. Just open the pack and that's what you need. Yeah. What about Furbies? Mm, I never I, had one, but they scared me. There. 
so spooky. If I like slept over at a friend's house and they had a Furby, I'd be like, turn it around. <laughs> it's I don't want to look at it. Because they could just turn. It was like Siri. You could just talk to yeah. it, right? Yeah, it was a yeah. first Siri. Yeah. Hey, Furby, what's uh, what's the weather in Alaska today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're scary. What do they like do? A gremlin. They listen to you. It was the first Alexa. Yeah, <laughs> truly. They, they would just lit. Like, could you ask it questions? Yeah. Yeah. And new commands. And then it just blinks. And, and it would pan- come alive in the middle of the night and just start yeah. talking. It was really? kind of scary, yeah. A bit of, I feel like the, the government had to do a big recall on them because yeah. it was basically an active microphone in your home. Whoa. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and now and, look at us. Yeah, now yeah. we all have them in our pockets. <laughs> now but I think something my, in an ad comes up. Yeah. I got a little pet robot dog instead of oh, a real dog. I remember those. Like the silver ones. Yeah. yeah. Like the ears. Robo dog that or was, whatever. I feel like I had one. But I don't remember. Poochie. Uh, or wasn't it like... Yeah, Poochie. Yeah. It had the, and it had the bone. And if you put it up to the nose, yep. it would like... Yep. Oh. Yes. And it would just like kind of hobble. And, and there was a pink and a blue one. Yeah. We really wanted a dog. Oh and my parents were like, well, we'll get you this. And if you like this. <laughs> and I I was just like petting it all the time. And I was oh. like, it's okay. Come on. Oh, sad. <laughs> Taking on walks. And then, yeah. But then we got a real dog when I was 15. <laughs> and he's still alive. Wow. wow. You really proved it. Still yeah. alive? He's 18. Wow. Yeah, it's insane. What kind of dog is it? A Shih Tzu. Wow, he's 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 looking rough though. He has to wear a diaper. His legs don't work. I mean, he's like 108 <laughs> dog years, probably. Yeah. Dang. Um, but that was like, like a fake pet dog. Like, who would buy that now? I feel like a lot of people. Are you? You? I guess. Yeah. I don't really like go to parents. They became more realistic because I I worked at a toy store like early twenties and wow, they that's had sick. They literally at the front of the store had like a fake like play pin and there were a bunch of just like robotic dogs, but they looked more realistic. I, I was like, like the furry. one that looks like the like the raccoon tail on the ball. That, yes. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there was a back flipping dog that would just go. <laughs> <Yeah>. bark, bark, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what toy store did you work at? Um, it's called Learning Express. Oh. Learning Express? Mm-hmm. So it's like a smart kids toy store? A noodle caboodle? Mm, or, I guess. Uh, KB Toys? KB Kinda. Toys. I used to love a KB Toys. You know what it stood for? What about Zany Brainy? <laughs> oh, Zany Brainy. Ugh, oh, man. I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> really? Zany Brainy Zany was like the Brainy? real granola like uh, toy store. It's like, yeah, there's just like toy stores. Each one had like, di- like Zany Brainy had like puzzles and like Rubik's Cubes okay. or magic tricks, chemistry sets. KB Toys was just was like, like a it was to- like a, it was like a Toys R Us, but it was just smaller yes. and just dense with toys. Yeah, and like it was the aisles mall. were like one person could go down it. Yeah, like, so it's like Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what does KB stand for? I don't know. I was gonna try and oh, make something funny. I thought you but knew I actually. I was like, wait, we cut them off. No, I don't know. Um, I feel, but like I feel like I haven't been to a house with little kids in it, like a family. Like I'm sure there are cool kids toys right now that they're gonna be nostalgic for, but. Are kids going to be nostalgic for like, I'll see in TikToks of people who are nostalgic for like iOS three. <laughs> it's like, remember iOS three? Oh, you're like, oh my yeah. God, I was like in sixth grade. My first phone, iOS three was oh, so yeah. great. Yeah, beer app. Like, yeah, the, the yeah, beer yeah, chugging yeah. app. Or I just mean, that like, definitely does feel a little nostalgic. I mean, I feel like especially if you're younger, way younger than us, yeah. maybe 10 years younger, that's probably nostalgic. Have yeah. you guys yeah. ever like heard about the idea that like nostalgic is actually kind of like, I want to say like a, a, a toxic thing to fall into, but like. Because you only to remember not it good. give into nostalgia too much, though, is like kind of like, or it's not healthy. Like if you're fixated on the past and like, is it because you're only looking at it in a good light and not for what it is? In a way, like, it it's like nostalgia can also be an addiction. I think too, like people <laughs> mm-hmm. kind of like fixate on it or they buy everything from their past. Like they gotta have it. Like there's oh. like nostalgia nuts, which like sometimes there's like a degree where it's like I sometimes like I love looking up old things about nostalgia but like i have to hold myself back from like purchasing the things because i'm like oh. this isn't i don't know what it's what joy it's like going to provide me or it's yeah. nothing good i need to be a little bit more focused Do you on, ever like, look at your present. old yearbook like your high school yearbook yeah. or your middle school that to me is like nostalgia in heroin form you're just like oh, really? seeing faces of people that like yeah that's true like you completely forgot about yeah that. And, you, and you see yourself in like a photo playing ping pong like in your school and you're just like yeah that's i'm the same person that did that and it's like you just yeah it's Do you just ever see like you an old version of you and you see the shoes you're wearing in that picture and you're like oh my god i remember those yes. shoes yes. but you don't own those like the shoes yeah. are like so far gone uh-huh. but you have yeah. this close relationship with a pair of shoes <laughs> yes yes i thought the headband like really your headbands yeah, one headband yeah but it's, it's so weird when that happens because then you're like i haven't thought about this in like 15 years yep. and it's like oh my god that's such a big part of my life for yeah such a chunk mm-hmm. 
I don't know. I love that. Yeah, it. shoes are pretty nostalgic. That's a good one. I saw a picture of me as a kid, and I always remember I had this distinct memory of me having goosebump shoes. <laughs> they were goosebump shoes, Sick. and the bottom of them were skeleton feet. And if you like walked lightly in the sand, you oh could God. like oh, cool. see oh. skeleton feet. I had a vi- vivid memory, and like I remember like I could hardly find them and stuff on the internet. And then I finally saw a picture of me as a kid, and I'm wearing these shoes, and you could see a little skeleton on the side of it, and I go. Those are the goosebump shoes, and I spent forever on the internet trying to hunt down the shoe, and I found it, and it was just such a big oh, rush. Wait, you said something about eBay earlier. That oh, on eBay, it's kind of like my instead of being on TikTok before you go to bed and like junking yourself because TikTok, the thing is, you'll be so tired, and then something will pique your interest, and then yeah. you're up for another thirty minutes. And I don't want to get on Instagram because I just I'll sit there and I try to think of things of my childhood and try to hunt them down until I'm like super bored on eBay. I'd love just like. Like trying, trying to, to find remember. a toy that you lost when you were a kid and knowing it was out there like Power Rangers Turbo. I had the blue <laughs> car. It was small. It was almost like a little micro machine kind of like. Uh, I fucking found it on eBay and I almost <laughs> bought it, but I was like, I, how much? It, like 15 bucks. Yeah. Plus shipping. Yeah. Is that worth it? <laughs> no, but I did buy I feel like for the time and effort you put into finding it. Like, why not? Um. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I know, but I did buy like a bunch of stuff the other day. Japanese Japanese movie programs of like old like movies like That's from like cool. the nineties. So like in in Japan, they would make these like programs of American movies, like a big lookbook, like a visual lookbook in Japanese about a movie to get Japanese people to like look at it. And the mm-hmm. graphic design on them is so cool. <laughs> and I bought like six for what <laughs> movies? Matilda. Ooh. Stand by me. Cool. American Beauty. Cool. Goodwill Hunting. Dead Poet Society. Bring it on. Oh, wow. wow. Fun. Um, so I'll bring the, I'll show them to you guys, but they're really, really cool. Bring it that on. is fun. Because I just love that like it's all these like cool graphic designs that aren't anywhere else on the internet. You can't find it, and they're just going to like this VHS die on their own. Yeah. Hobby you got me on is so cool. Like <laughs> it's so I don't know what the I guess it is nostalgic to like pull out Even a VHS. Even just to hold it, I'm sure. Is it's like... so and like doing all the things where like if you remember on the side of the VHS there's like those little black squares you press and then you can lift the tape up. Yeah, yeah. Well, just doing that. I haven't done that since I was like 11 years old. Yeah. And I just like do that in my room. I'm like wow, I used to do this all the time for like hours when you're a kid Weird. and pushing it in and like. There are some of these things that you can just relive, which is super fun. Remember, like, you look inside of a VHS, you're like, what kind of fucking world is in there? <laughs> it always looks like something was, like, broken or there has that weird, yeah. it's like something that's off level. I'll never know how that works. Yeah. Is there any, like, TV show that you remember watching as a kid that you feel like no one else watched or, oh. like, no one else talks about? Oh, that's a yes. good one. What's your, you, have, uh, you have all these weird uh, Disney Channel shows. Well, okay, a big one, no like, one the, secret, about the Secret World of Alex Mack. Do you remember that oh, one? Oh, is that about when the, she is goo? goo. She turns she, into that's, walls it's like metallic. Yeah. yeah. I remember that one. Do you know yeah. who played her? The girl who was in 10 Things I Hate About You. The some lady, wasn't the, it? The what? Oh, maybe not. She's the no, girl right. who's in 10 Things I Hate About You. She's oh. like the one who Joseph Gordon Levitt wants to date. I, I'm pretty oh, sure it's Kathy Bates. Yes, you're right. Yeah. What? I said I'm pretty sure it was Kathy Bates. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck. <laughs> that show was really good. She melted into like a puddle of like uh, she looked like a Capri Sun. Remember Capri Sun? You would drink it in the commercials and you would turn into like a silver <laughs> yeah, person yeah. and fly around. I was like, that's the secret world of Alex yeah. Mack. <laughs> or they'd eat the gushers and their heads would explode and turn into a fruit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or remember so weird. The oh, girl, that, that she, show scared she was me. A, Fee, so like, Fiona? Yeah, she was like a ghost hunter, but her mom was like in a rock band, and they yeah. would travel the country <laughs> in a tour bus, and she would have like paranormal encounters on the road. Oh my god, that oh. show scared me yeah. so much. What's it called? Weird? So weird. So weird. So weird. It was a Disney show. Yeah, her name was Fiona, I remember. I watched, Fiona. I watched all the popular shows. Teletubbies, Arthur. <laughs> Teletubbies. Teletubbies? Yeah. That was around when we were kids. Yeah, but we were, that wasn't for us. Well, because like when I was growing up, it was all four of us watching the uh, TV I together. Well, I mean, I watched Teletubbies at yeah, some point in my life. That was their names. Tinky Winky, Dixie, <laughs> Lala, and Poe. Oh, actually. Time for Tinky Bye-bye. Winky. Time for Telly Bye-bye. the baby and th- the sun. I think the baby and the sun did like a Reddit AMA the other day I saw. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, what What do we want to know, man? Oh, my God. I was the sun baby in Teletubbies. Ask me anything. Like Probably like, what was the drama on set? Yeah. Like, I mean, I would want to know. <laughs> Teletubby drama, please. Uh, There was tons of other weird there was shows. Do you remember Caitlin's Way? No. No. <laughs> she was like Disney this girl. Or what? I think it was Disney. 
It was like kind of like so weird. It was only on for two seasons. She was like this rough and tough girl from like the city. And I think her like mom died and then she moved to go live on a farm in Montana. No, oh. I'm familiar. What I'm age do you think I'm trying to go like people are no, like, yeah, is but... there an age now of somebody that like doesn't remember VHS tapes? How old do you have to be today? To be, like, to be oh, born after 2000. Yeah, yeah, probably like 98 and up, maybe. So like if someone was born in like 2001, they would be what? Probably just... 21? Yeah, 2000, around the early 2000s is when they like... like DVDs. It was DVDs. Like right. Shrek, Shrek to, when Shrek was like the first DVD that was like... Like, no one was Popular. watching Shrek on VHS. No? Some people did. But I guess, yeah, like, but because I guess you also have the nostalgia not from when you're born. It's a few years later. So if you're born in 2000... Like 2004 or five, definitely yeah. not watching VHS anymore. Yeah. yeah. Really, it really cut off. I remember The Matrix came out on DVD. I remember when DVDs came out. It was like. Oh, yeah. It was like, this is going to be the best quality Yeah. Like you ever. read it in the magazine, like new to your home theater is VHS. And the big thing was you didn't have to rewind them. That was like their yeah. big sales thing was like, and there's no need to rewind. And I was like, but so the disc just, you could just put hell, it in anywhere. Like hell. I thought it was like a record. It was yeah. so cool. And then the, like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, then they started be, doing be DVDs. kind rewind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now DVDs is just gone. That's like a thing that flashed and disappeared. Blu ray, though. Nobody oh, yeah. bought Blu ray. Yeah. That we, that, what that was one. Blu ray, just like better DVDs. It was like better quality. Well, DVDs are only Wasn't like seven... Avatar one of the like first ones? Or maybe one of like. Yeah. DVD was only 720p. That's the max that of a DVD. Makes sense. And, and Blu ray is 4K. So, like, if you look at a DVD, it's not, like, it's not HD. It's just clearer than Whoa. VHS, but 4K yeah. is what you get on Blu-ray. We're watching Mad Men on DVD, and it's a little... Yeah, it's and it's, like, or is it widescreen or no? Yeah, it fits You're a watching Mad Men on DVD. Yeah. I did that in college, because in college, we didn't have Netflix. No, we didn't have any streaming. Well, Nothing. So, well, if well, I wanted to watch Mad Men, I would either have to hunt on the dark web. BitTorrent. Not the dark web. It's the dark BitTorrent. web. Like, I never torrented anything in my life. It was... It didn't make no sense. You had to download Pirate Bay and then download a file. No, like, Pirate Bay's where you... Okay, I won't get into it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> also, you could have ordered Netflix. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to do that. I yeah. used to do that. I think you still can. You yeah. can, yeah. I think we talked about this. Yeah. Just so bizarre. Do you remember? There was some Disney movie. I can't think... Oh, I Bring think it's it called on. Something... Tell, or, no, tell me, tell me, tell <laughs> I me. I think it was something about Susie Q. Oh, it was called Susie Q with the pink Power Ranger. Kimberly was in it, and she was a girl who, she was the <laughs> she pink Power Ranger. She dies on prom night or something. Yes, and oh, like, she God. comes back. Like their car. Yeah, she comes back as like a ghost yes. or something. Yes, That Susie is Q. like, that gives me so much assault. Just thinking of that scene on the bridge. Uh-huh. To me, oh, just they, like. They, they, yeah, they fall off on yeah, the bridge. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch Animorphs or read the books? No. no, I was like, this sounds dumb. I don't. Animorphs. Like that. No, sounds dumb. Oh, I don't man. mean what it is. It's it was it was similar in vain to like uh, the what was the the mystery school kids? What do oh, you, Bailey school kids. Bailey school kids. You know that that like, book series. Leprechauns don't teach no. gym. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like vampires don't drink pink lemonade. It was like there was all these serialized <laughs> books for like young adults that would be similar format, but each book is a different story so like this bailey school kids was always like scooby-doo esque where they would think that there's a vampire teaching them and it turns out he just had bad teeth or Got it. there was like a ghost and it turned out it was just the janitor whatever but <laughs> animorphs was like these four kids discovered four yeah there's four it was like four was or five kids a different animal every book yeah that's <laughs> let, let me explain okay there's four kids and there was these aliens called the andalites and they came to earth <laughs> and they gave these kids powers and the power is if you touch an animal you can then turn into that animal. Whoa. And so they would like each each book was one person turning into a different animal. And then they had to like, you know, beat the bad guys. And then sometimes they would get stuck as the animal because they didn't know how to get out of it. And I had a pet rabbit and I tried to turn into my pet <laughs> rabbit. I sat there for like two hours just like touching the rabbit, like trying to animorph into Please a rabbit. Like, like probably like seven or eight. That is so funny. And I remember like reading the books like, wait, how do you do it? Like I thought it was real. <laughs> Damn. And anytime I see animorphs, I have like a soft spot for like, damn, I, I really oh. did try to turn into a rabbit. <laughs> did they ever make it a show? They did. It was oh, okay. great. It was like, it was similar to Goosebumps and that kind of thing. But <laughs> the kid from In a Heartbeat, remember that show? Oh, that the, don't even talk about it, like it in a heartbeat. Kids, in a heartbeat was a show about these kids who were EMTs, kids, I mean, kids were like <laughs> eleven years old, like performing CPR. They would go after like, high school, like to they the were doing station. surgery on people, like yeah, yeah. They were in high school, and then they leave. Grey's Anatomy, but they're like 
in their teens. What? It was it. such a good show, though. I remember yeah. like loving that show. There was so much drama. Oh my god! What's the? How is this like? Is it? Is it a? It's a Disney show. It's a Disney show, yeah. But so are there was... adults in the universe? Like, why yes. are they, why yeah. are these kids they were like doing volunteer this? Volunteer EMTs. Oh yes, that's what it was. They, they would, you know, and they're English children? class, and they the next thing you know, they're in an ambulance performing like some serious <laughs> procedure on someone. Kids, like they weren't even eighteen. I would love to watch that show again now, just seeing it as an adult. Yeah, it's, and maybe it's on the Disney Plus. Oh, it probably is. It's probably on YouTube, honestly. Just clip at least. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yeah. Go ahead. Remember the jersey? Yes. It was like this magical jersey that would move around, and, and they'd go the in the game. Kids put it on. They were amazing athletes in whatever game they were playing. John and it, was like, it was like the sisterhood of traveling pants, but it was but a, like a jersey, jersey with these four friends of them like trying on the jersey and getting yeah. special powers. What was like the first okay. adult show you watched when you were a kid? If you can remember that. Adult show. Oh, Something that like wasn't made for kids, but Probably you were Grey's Anatomy. To Jerry be honest. Springer. <laughs> What? Oh, yeah, like Jerry and Maury. When you were homesick, when you were oh, home. Yeah, home staying from at school. Home, home from school, oh, sick. Yeah. And you turn on TV, watch Jerry Springer, and like. Oh, God, I would always turn that off. What? The people were so scary looking and like. <laughs> so good. Terrible. And they <laughs> were like looking. screaming and like, you are not the father. Yeah. Ugh. The fact that it's still on. I know. Is it? He's still doing it? I'm pretty sure. Wasn't I... he mayor of like Cincinnati for a bit? Jerry? Yeah, Jerry Springer. I feel like I remember him it's being kind of the iconic. mayor or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was too. I think Judge Judy has like a streaming thing now too. Oh, yeah. It's like her own Judge streaming Judy. show. That is also something I do miss is there's no, sometimes back in the day with TV, there's no decision to make as to what you're going to watch. Like if you want to watch something right now, you have to make a decision to pick a platform, scroll through, find something and then press play. And that's like so much energy to think about. If you're just flipping through the TV and you're like, well, Jeopardy's on. I guess I'll watch that. Yeah, like, I was... I wish we had that on these social platforms now. Like, if you just turned on Netflix and it was like, what's on comedy? What's on drama? What's on mystery? And it would YouTube just be TV like... TV has it. Really? Yeah, it's just like the TV. Like, you like, scroll like basic through. cable. See, yeah. yeah, my Samsung TV has like a full like... No, no, no. But I'm not saying to watch like TNT or CBS. I'm saying like Netflix, if I go on Netflix, to just have comedy. And I'm in the middle of a comedy movie. It's just like someone picks... You know, 24 yeah. hours of comedy movies that are just playing in a loop. You totally oh. do that. I, I know. Don't get, like, that's just like one. Because you also don't always want to start a movie like right at the beginning. Like if you want to eat lunch, I would, I would love to like be like, oh, uh, you know. Like super bad's on. Yeah, super bad's like, on. The, and 10 minutes, I'm 30 minutes into the movie versus like, I'm not going to yeah. get to the meat know. of it. Someone do that. No, that's a good idea, actually. Do you, just, you don't have, like, cable? No, no. Okay. Like, flipping through the channels is not something I've done in, you like, have 12 years. I have YouTube TV, which is okay, yeah, cable, yeah. yeah. What, is, what is YouTube TV? Like, you, you get TNT and CBS and all that kind of stuff? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And, and then you, you can like it? record shows. It, yeah. It is still crazy to me that Comcast, oh, it's not Com is it Comcast yeah. still? That shit, like I go home to my parents and they still have it. It is <laughs> still the most archaic mm -hmm. layout like the remote, ever. Even? The delay yeah. is still there. You gotta uh, go page by page, yeah. step to load. <laughs> like, and how everything, can I go now on? they have like five of each channel because it's like basic HD, 4K. Oh, yeah. And they go, like, oh, you gotta go down to There's the like thousands to, yeah. to see the HD version. Yeah. Like it is, it makes me angry for all the old people out there. Oh, and if you want to buy something on like pay per view, oh, it's things, impossible. It's like, oh, it's a whole new like. It looks like a hotel uh, screen. Like yes. when you're in the hotel room, do you want to buy this? A yellow play button. No. Oh, good grief. But I feel like good old people grief. don't. They can't even tell. They're like, oh, it looks good to me. Oh, my parents totally. had this like massive like the remote with like the big huge yeah, buttons, yeah. and I was like, what? it looked. It was like an elderly person remote. <laughs> And I go, what is this? She goes, Just that's the new remote. remote. I go, that's the, she goes, that's the new one. They sent us the new uh -huh. one. And I go, no, they really to your age bracket. Because <laughs> now you guys are like older than 60 and they don't want to get calls from old people going, well, oh how do I God. do this? And they were like, oh my God, you're so right. I'm like, this isn't. Yeah. That's fucked. Um, TV guides, like the little booklets. Love yeah. the TV guide. Oh, the way they felt. Oh. I never got them, and I was like jealous of my friends who had them. You never They're got them. TV guides were the best because you would get them and you would see which like rated R movies were playing, and then you would like plan like, oh, we're gonna have a sleepover <laughs> at so and so's house because we can to watch, watch the rated R. Movie. Go watch American Pie at John's mm. house, and I would just like take note of like what was playing on certain times. Yeah, Ooh, I love that. Love that. What was your first cell phone? Mm. Nokia. Yeah, like that blue one. The blue one with the the middle button, the up down, and then the back button. 
Like the main Nokia? I guess. 3390? There's so many different Nokias. I could like find a photo. I think it was just like my dad's work one and he would like send it off with me. And then I think he got that's a new mine, one and like gave it to me or something. Too. Mine was Your like a, a Motorola. It was like black. It it looks like shell? a... Uh, what's that? Like, like it opened up? No, sorry. It was like a flip phone. This was but mine. it was like, it looked like a dad phone. It, oh, it had like the antenna. Oh, oh, oh yes. God, that was yeah. my first phone too. This is mine. Oh, my my mom had that one. I, that was... I honestly think it might have had like a little antenna. Mine was this one. It did. It did have a little antenna. Okay, yeah. So it's a little different. On that phone, you could... They had like a MIDI like this was my music program. Oh, that's a newer yes. generation. I I made the Top Gun theme song as my ringtone in the app. That's and very I was like funny. in eighth grade, and everyone was like, "How did you do that?" And you, they, <laughs> like that phone. I, I I would love to have that phone with a smart yeah. screen right now. What was your first ringtone? I made the Top oh, Gun yeah, theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was my first phone. Oh my Doesn't god! It looks so Just nine year old Carly oh, flip phone. <laughs> I know. Like, it looked like that when it was open. Oh, my God. It was like your clothes. Oh, there's not even a screen. screen. It shows phone numbers. What the hell is the point of the flip? It's just 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 a few people. Did you have, like, a holster for it, too? (laughs) (laughs) Next to your pager? No, No, I think it was a situation where it was, like, my dad's. He's like, you can take it when you go places. But it wasn't, like, fully mine. Yeah. And then I think my real, real one was, like, a Samsung. It was a silver one. When you flip it open, it's, like, fish that move. Oh. The screen. Yeah. I. Be <laughs> we never like got to experience pagers though, right? No, that no. was before us. No. I, but I thought pagers were so cool. Well, it was like I was so like, advanced. Yeah. I didn't know how it works. What do you do? I think it's they like call, they, you like get a call on the pager. It's like call this person. But how does the pa- what does the pager say? Does it have text on it or is it just? I think mis- it has I think text, text on it. Yeah, I think. It's but like, how did you how did you text? Someone? Someone? Yeah, how did you text them? Mm-mm. You. I think it's like I would call a number that you is call your like a pager. pager. Yeah, and then okay, and let's it would say, just say call Carly. But how? Oh, so it's just a missed call notification. It's That's not all even it a does. call. It just says like it's like call beep, Carly. Beep. It'll no, beep you. I think. because in Home Alone three, <laughs> Alex. Yeah, I think there was a way to write. You can Alex write like a message called, in it. Oh, maybe the like, little kid called nine one one, but then he like looked at his pager and said nine one one. I th- okay, maybe this is how it works. I think what you do is you call a pager and then it says enter the, the number. number that you're calling from. So if you wanted to say like your phone number, you just type in your phone number. But if you you would have like shorthand with your wife, if it's like 111 is like, where are you? Or like 999 is it, it's okay. going to be late. It says a sender could call that number and type in a numeric code on their phone or give a message to an operator. Either way, it would then be transmitted to the pager. In the case of numeric pagers, people came up with codes to communicate basic messages. Yes, you would have your message of like 1010 or 999 or whatever. Do you guys remember telegrams? What are telegrams? Telegrams. Oh, just like, do you guys remember the horse and buggy? (laughs) A telegram. (laughs) It'd be so crazy to just like live a life one day in that life just to see how everything operated. That'd be crazy. It's crazy you just had to like expect that people would show up on time like... No texting. Yeah, my flight's going to land. Just be ready for that. Yeah, like, like yeah. how do you can't, go, there's no Ubers. It just I, took forever. TJ's dad said, so like when we go to Utah now, it's like this whole thing. But when they moved there or would go visit in the 80s, someone would literally just leave their car parked outside of the airport with the keys in the ignition. And like TJ's dad would just like fly in, f- see the car, <laughs> go get in it and then like do the thing. But they're like, you couldn't call them at all to be like, oh. They would leave the car for someone to like. He would l- a friend would leave his car <laughs> at the airport like with the keys just like in the car unlocked and then when tj's dad would get there he would just like get in the car but there was like no way to like call each other yeah. and be like hey like this is where he parked the car like you just have to do Hope it in the same spot it? i think everything time. just took forever what everything just took forever uh, yeah if you want to meet someone you're but, just like, it fucked. worked uh, yeah but it probably took him an extra 45 minutes to find the car Dude. no he would literally park it out front of the airport i mean that's that's insane. <laughs> Did you remember going to the airport as a kid and then having to listen to the radio station to tell you which gate to go to? Oh, no. no. I guess because I, w- I grew up like a DFW, such a big airport. But on our way to the airport, we didn't know which gate or which terminal we had to go to. And we would listen to this radio station that was like on AM radio. And it would be like uh, for terminal A, A1 to Boston, A2. And we would sit there listening for oh our thing. God. And then oh. my mom would be like, OK. And she'd write it down. And then we would go to the terminal like but we would listen to it over the airport because like or the radio because like it wasn't an app. The Internet yeah, was too yeah, slow yeah. to look it up. Yeah. Flights were changing, I guess, because it was such a big airport. Did you guys was... have GPSs in your car? 
Yeah. Like the At separate GPS. Like a TomTom. Yeah. Tom. MapQuest yeah. first Ooh, map quest, Printing off MapQuest. Oh, God. No, MapQuest. I always I hated MapQuest because they were always wrong. Well, how would you Google Maps? Get Yahoo anywhere. Maps. Was Yahoo my, Maps. The Yahoo Maps was uh, unbelievably superior to MapQuest. Like, when people would print out MapQuest, I would judge them. When I was, like, 11, I'm like, idiot. You don't know. Isn't it so funny that if there was like an accident or something, then you're just like, well, where do I go? Or like now? miss a turn. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm fucked. Or I don't know how anybody exit. got anywhere before GPS, truly. It is no idea. Just maps and just. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, but, yeah like, but like, that's how? Wild. If you put a map in front of me and you're like, get to point A, point B, it would take me at so least, long. At least three hours. I would to miss every out. exit. I wouldn't know. But that's, I think, what people used to do, if I'm remembering correctly, is like, Everyone kind of knows how to get to their main road. Like here would be the 101, the 405. Yeah. And then you have to call and write down the directions after the main road. So if like you're coming up north 405, take Sepulveda exit. And then you just got to follow. Be like, it's going to be a right at this gas station, a left here, right here, left here. And if you just if you just didn't, you, you have to like memorize directions to your own house enough to be able to give to someone else. And I hated getting lost. Like, you'd be looking at the maps. Uh, did you see uh, Main Street? No. Okay, we're going to die. Like, yeah. I just thought if you got lost, you're Same. never getting back on the road Same. again. I was so scared. Like, I would call my dad. I'm like, I don't know where to go. I'm like, in Omaha, like, probably 10 minutes away. So scary. Oh, so Sorry, I'm like a map quest. Um, I feel like by I the time so. I was driving, I had a GPS. That's I, fun. That's I don't good. Think I, Sorry, my freaking hiccups yeah, again. I don't remember like looking at my phone driving though. No, like, no, I know we need like, printing like, it all. I never had a GPS in my car. Really? Oh, oh, oh. yeah, I had one. I, I was... think that was like my my like birthday gift was like a GPS. I remember being so thrilled. I was like, so this knows where we are at all times. So like, we're yeah, not gonna crazy. get we're not gonna get lost. It follows like, my car. Yeah. yeah, and it tells us how to get. And I, like, my parents are sometimes like, no, nah, we don't need it. We'll figure it out. I'm like. But, but it's right there. Just please turn it on. I don't want to yeah. get lost. They're also just so much better at it than we are or were because they grew up without yeah. anything. Yep. Yeah. 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 My dad still doesn't use GPS. He just figures it out. Uh, my, same like, with how, same. How are you getting around New Jersey? He definitely like, does now, but he's so good. My dad was also a firefighter, so they had to like memorize oh, like God. every fucking street. Like, yeah. They, they're good. Where's the fire? A left on what? <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. He'd be like, okay, I'll be there. I know wow. exactly where to go. Huh? Wow. Whoa. Couldn't be me. I'd be like, I took a left and now I don't know where I am. <laughs> GPS. <laughs> Apologies to everyone anyways, because I have um hiccups. Hiccups He's... again. Keeps the listener engaged. When's it going to happen next? Oh, I hate it. Do you get them a lot recent? Like new... literally the last time I had them were on this podcast. Yeah, I feel like I, that was the last time I, that you had them. Uh, <sighs> what else is nostalgic? I have like a, a thing. Oh, I did like sick. I have a couple uh, of photos that I we're gonna jog my memory too. For yeah. like technology, I wrote down like a Walkman. Did you guys all have those? What is that? My is it the tape player? My what? The Sony Walkman is a tape player, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. No, tape player, like a portable but it was also one. it was a brand. Like Walkman could be like it was also like a, a mobile. Uh, you could listen to the radio on it. You could have a CD. You could put a tape in it, mm. and it was usually yellow. And then they also changed in different colors, right? Mm. Loved, I loved the headphones. They were so stupid. Yeah, it was just like little tiny. Oh yeah, those ones are, they only for like their the doctor. Metal. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like a, it's like a stethoscope. <laughs> loved it. Yeah, but then they changed it to the like CD player. Yeah. still use the same headphones. I have the, the CD disc player. Man. Yeah, disc man. That I had the silver one. I had an so MP3 excited. player too. That was the best. Like a little Ooh. the MP3 player, Wait, just a USB. Ones? You could just like yeah. stick it in the computer, drag the files over, uh, pop it Wait, on. What were the like? Hot clips or something? Oh, yes. Like, is that what it's called? Hit clips. Hit clips. That would only play you like 30, 30 seconds. In the yeah. worst yeah. quality like, the of all. It was like cell point? phone quality, and, and, too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the microphone wire was like, yeah. like two inches. So you would like have to like hold it. You couldn't even like put it in your pocket. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what what people who had like thing. a whole like just charm bracelet yes. of all of them. Yeah. Like, you want to listen to my hit clip? I got them all. Oh, this is God. so dumb. This happened. Every, it, I had the Dream Street one. It oh. happens every oh. time. Love when Dream Street. I see you. Um, another big thing for me was always burning CDs. Oh, I yes. loved burning CDs. Do you still have Couldn't your booklets from when you were a kid? Someone stole them all out of my car. No. It was really so disappointing. Devastating. Oh, my God. Yeah. I still have my, like, I Mike's can... first CD. 
Yeah. I have it. It's in my handwriting. I also have like Mike's Bar Mitzvah Mix 2002. Oh, yeah. Wait, it got to pop like, that fun one because you would like your friends would make them for each other. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, oh, that was like my mode of communication. Oh, it was so cool. Like, also, that just like that the shell yeah. that had like all the blank scenes yeah. and just you the... would just like. So, and sometimes you'll go into like Best Buy or Staples and they still sell yeah, they do. like 50 CDRs. And I would just love to oh just like God. pick them up and just like drop them and do that. <laughs> Did you, yes. ever, do you remember? Do you remember? Okay. If you're checking out at Target, there was always like a big AOL thing. And yeah. you would go take the free CDs that yeah. were for AOL. And then you could like, like I had a friend of mine who would go get the free CDs that were for to download AOL on your computer and he would make like cool wall art in his room. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Or he would just go and like play with them yeah, and just break them, them and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're always like free. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Just I never free... had AOL though. I know you wouldn't. <gasps> like AIM? No, I had AIM, but oh. AOL like the internet provider. I don't think oh, I did. I didn't either. Yeah. That was a, It was weird because it wasn't even websites. Like it would be, you would have the website. It's like you a dashboard. Go... Like, yeah, right? but, but instead like, for example, on a VHS that I have, it will say go to paramount.com or aol keyword paramount and mm. aol was like a was like a what do you call it a browser but you couldn't access regular internet you can only access aol versions of the internet it was insane oh. the internet could have, like if that took off the internet would have been like completely different thank oh god, god it didn't i loved aim aim was the best AO. was it ao how did aol was the, the oh, sound for it, it like, like america like, online you've was got it? mail AOL, like oh. I don't think so. No. Remember, there was AOL. MSN Messenger, and it was like that butterfly guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> I had that too. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> and there was Hotmail, Hotmail. We had a Yahoo. I still have Yahoo, Yahoo girly. If you, you who has Yahoo, I, I had, have Yahoo. Yeah, I, I was gonna say Yahoo. someone I know has Yahoo. It's so bizarre. Yeah. That's Wait, me. Get a Gmail. I do have a Gmail. Yahoo. But I've had Yahoo for so long. It's like that would take so long. Yeah, to transfer everything. Also makes me quirky. <laughs> I'm not like other email users. <laughs> Sorry for the hookup. Uh, uh, is that it? No. Well, we could still hold on. I know. I'm trying to think. I have. Okay. So for school, these were like big for me having like Lisa Frank stuff. Oh, yeah. Was that the monkey? That's Paul Frank. <laughs> Paul Frank. <laughs> Lisa Frank was like. Uh, rainbows. Like, gl- how do I describe it? Like neon, neon rainbow. Like it would be oh, a bear, a, a, a dolphin, and like sparkly and yeah. glittery and Loved pink. Loved Lisa Frank. Very folders. cool. Um, the the like five star trapper keepers. Oh my god! Those were five like a, star. Yeah. Those, those were like a big thing for me. What and is then, a trapper keeper? <laughs> I hear the name. I hear the name, but like, it's what like is your it? Binder. But yeah. there's like a zipper. Yeah. Right. There's a zipper. What is a trapper? It traps all of your like, stuff. What does it mean? It's What's like a trapper the big, keeper? Big it's like your reminder clip. binder. It traps it in and yeah. keeps it. So it has all of your school stuff in one little thing. It traps all of your belongings into a thing. What do you put in it? Notebooks? Notebooks, folders, folders anything. Syllabus. Love the good and back to school shopping. I would shopping. always like get a dark yeah. color and then get like a Sharpie that you could write on it with to and like have it. people sign it. Yeah, yeah. that's smart. Cute. Um, and then another big thing for me was like, must having an LL Bean backpack. LL Bean. Oh, really? Oh, Ours was like, was like Jansport thing. got really Jansport. popular. Jansport. Oh yeah, Jansport was. Loved LL Bean. That was the best. August when it's like summer's over, but you get to go to Target or wherever and get all your school supplies. Did, okay, did well, I need school, to get the sixty four crayons. Did your school also give you the option to buy school supplies in a pack? Like a no. giant pack. No. Of, dude, like for the PTA, they would do it instead of like having oh. to worry about going to all the stores and stuff they would yeah. have everything you could buy it in a full pack a school supplies kit and i remember i would volunteer because my mom was like pta president we would like it was before school started everyone would get their schedules and we would give sell school supplies packs and that's how you buy had all your markers <laughs> all of your shit what would they like upsell them to people i think to try probably to make gave money? it to them at a good price like mm. i think it was mostly did you was like a, that or did you like the idea that's of how going i got to... all my school supplies so you never uh, went to like the aisles and be like oh which no, crayons like, do you want like, yeah. even yeah. now like, like going through those aisles, aisles i love it i'm like Me i want too. a new notebook but yeah. like what the fuck would i use and like matching the colors like okay this get a green notebook and a green folder right that's my science folder there's math or like 
in sync folders and oh, shit like yes. that. I always had those. Just putting together your like and like the aesthetic. Smell. Your aesthetic Honestly, for the like year. the smell of everything, like new. The markers, yeah. You remember you had your reminder binder that was like the reminder school gave binder. it. The school gave you like this little binder to write down your homework in. Oh, it like always had that material book? where you'd be like, yeah. We just call it an agenda. Oh, we would call them reminder binders. That's very funny. We it would have like a. It would have like a photo on the front. Yes. Like every year it would be different. Yes. Oh yeah, the front one was. And yeah. Then, yeah, and then do you remember like after the day was done, you would like fold the papers in and yes. like have like a little like design oh, going. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, and then by the end of the year, it's this big. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Look, I feel like we just start like, ripping pages out eventually. Ours are called assignment notebooks. <laughs> Agendas. So boring. Assignment notebooks. Hot Reminder lunch, cold binary. lunch. <laughs> Welcome to the Midwest, baby. Did um, you, oh, go ahead. Uh, that's did you guys ever have your own landline for yourself? No. no. Did you? No, but there would be kids in the I neighborhood kid oh whose God. brother like in the basement. Rich. You just get a second line because you, if you only have one line in the house and you want to call your friend after school and your mom's on the phone, you're beat. Did you well, have yeah. a phone in your own, if you're in your bedroom as a kid? No, yeah, I did. Well, we had oh a wire. We had a wireless, wireless phone. See? So you pick it up off the receiver and then you can walk. Rich. around. Did you have any corded phone in your house? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But was yeah. that the one that had all the uh, the messages on it? Yeah. People think... would leave the messages. Like my parents always had one in their bedroom, and that would be the one that. Oh, like the with the speaker and everything. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that machine. one was corded, and so sometimes yeah. my mom would take phone calls in her bedroom with the corded phone. It was so strange. Hmm. Wonder what's like... going on there. <laughs> Who's she talking know. to? Just like the cord going around corners. Like, she in the didn't walls. Yeah. Like a funny. Phone, it's so strange. Remember those cordless phones that were like green, almost see through? Yes. Oh, yeah. Like opaque. I knew a guy. Neon so, green. One of my dad's yes. friends like sold all those, like a hamburger phone and a hot dog phone. And I was like, oh, we need to get this. Yeah. So like, we're not putting a fucking hamburger phone <laughs> in the kitchen. Juno had a hamburger phone. Yes. I wanted one so bad. Oh, yeah, she did. I haven't talked on like a phone in a minute. It's so yeah. much fun. Like the big bulky ones. Like that you find in an office. Oh, yeah. Click, click. Hello. <laughs> you don't hear people say that anymore. Oh, I'll get it. Like that I'll was a thing people used to say. Oh, oh yeah. Like you hear your parents. I got it. I got it. I got it. Did you know anyone Phone. who had intercom systems in their house? I had one. That's a rich kid no. thing. No. Wait, I'm what? not rich. Like a... So when I... Whoa. When, yeah, no. How did that work? Um, it was actually like right next to where the phone was. But I'm like, I wish I could show you a picture of it. It was like the shittiest thing ever. <laughs> And they always look like really shit, or people yeah. who had them in their I mean, houses, it, it looked like it was so from the old. 80s. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> like I, my mom grew up in the house, and it had just been there since like she was a wow. kid. But it would only go, I think, to my bedroom. And so like that's how my mom, they would be like, ah, time to wake up. Oh and my, I was like, oh, oh, they would shut buzz up. you from the thing to wake you yeah, up. Yeah, but that's I could old. literally hear her talking downstairs <laughs> below me. Like yeah, it was like so fun. unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> And like when you're a kid, it's like fun too, because I'm like you're like oh go upstairs like try yeah. to see if you can like guess. But like I'm pretty sure it was only in my bedroom. I don't know why. Intercoms, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like we had it because like butlers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I genuinely always was like, why is this in here? It's yeah. so unnecessary. My house, like literally, if like someone was talking in the living room, you could hear them from like the other side of the house. Oh. Like walls it's are like, just unnecessary. Like, thin. In yeah. your elementary school, did they have an intercom system? Obviously, the intercom system, the teacher, the or, overhead one, yeah, the overhead one. But like, if a kid was ever acting up, did you guys have a button that the teachers would oh, press yes. and talk to the person? It was Wait, like they were what? talking. Yes. It was like they were talking to God. Like, to the I was principal like, How is... or to like the office or something. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. we had this too. Oh, I yeah. think they just picked up the phone at mine. I don't remember that far back. Like the intercom could go to a specific classroom and talk to yeah. the class. Yes, I vaguely remember this. Yeah. And they'd like be special buttons for I don't know different places. Yeah. Yeah. That very weird. Wild. I always think of like projectors in school. Do you guys like, remember? Shitty ass. Is, is the rejection is the rejection hotline still a thing? What is that? Yeah, that Remember is... the rejection hotline was like this number. Like if someone asked you for uh, their number, you would give them the rejection hotline. <laughs> if the person called it, be like, you've reached the rejection hotline. Oh, oh my God. The person who so gave you this number did not want you to have it. Oh, that's funny, though. That's so yeah. mean. No. Oh. I remember that. Missed did you, out on did that. you ever buy anything off the TV from those infomercials? Yes. What oh, did yeah, you get? The magic bullet. What's that? It Oh my god! Magic bullet, like the blender. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Also, I'm pretty sure like we got an ab roller. <laughs> Remember that? It was like blue and orange. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I convinced my parents to buy me a Bowflex. <laughs> Dude, Bowflex—they would Bowflex. make you think 
that that would just change your life. Yeah, yeah. They, they played it, and every commercial break, I saw it for years. They would not, and you just see these fucking ripped guys. <laughs> it was such a How hideous thing you? to put in a room. I was like, though. A it was like, so ugly. I don't know it was why like they this spider like that would just <laughs> bend yeah. Yeah. down yeah. and just like, I know. Uh, and they were like, oh. it's and disgusting. we got one, and I. I don't know why my parents, it was like a thousand dollars. And I think my parents were like, well, couldn't I, you do those in like monthly payments? I think like so. All, yeah. Like as seen on TV. I but feel like, like I just like couldn't that. believe that we actually got one. And it like we, my dad spent the whole day assembling it. Cause it's like a pain in the ass. It's like these, <laughs> these like rubber things that you have to like hook into. And I was like 12 years old. Like what? I'm going to start working on on Bowflex at yeah. 12. And it just sat in my basement and <laughs> never, ever, ever got used. Yep. And I, that's when I realized, like, okay, actually, these things in the commercials maybe are not as cool as, like, yeah. what you think they are. But It's funny, to ordering something back then, like, you had no way to track it, really. Oh, no. You just call you just a number, like, you give them your credit card over the phone, up. or you mail you mail them a check. Yeah. You write a check, mail it to them, hope they cash it, and then hope a month later you get a $1,000 <laughs> Bowflex. That's crazy. Yeah, shipping was, like, months back then. Yeah. If you order something off I the TV. I ordered a bar... Uh, it was like a horse, like horse fur Barbies. Oh, and it was wow. like, I thought it was going to be like the coolest thing was going to change my life. And it took like literally two months to get. Oh, and wow. My parents ordered a magic set for me from an infomercial and they didn't tell me. And it's like the best thing I've ever gotten in my life. <laughs> I still, it's tricks that I've used on you. It's stuff Dang. I learned in this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so was, maybe it is a good thing. It, no, that one was good. It was called jaw droppers. <laughs> did you did you remember box tops? Do they still do box oh. tops? It was like the top of yes. things. It yeah. was like bring this in to ten cents goes to your I think that was a school. part of. I watched a documentary called The Pez Outlaw. Have you heard of this? No, that sounds interesting though. It's pretty good, but he. I don't think it was box tops, but there's a part at the beginning where he was um, mailing in these things that you get on cereal boxes, and you could get a toy. Yeah, and he did it so much that he's the reason that now on them they say one per household because he did it so much and was like selling them and making a ton oh, of money. Wow! So then he ended up going overseas to get. He got into Pez when it came out, and it's a whole thing. But yeah. just the box tops was like, hey, do this so your school gets money. Yeah, and like, you, <laughs> and your school <laughs> never said thank you. Like, you. You'd be like, I got box tops. They'd be like, over there. Well, like, we went to a pizza party. Guys, like, yeah. we went to a pizza party. Like, I, yeah, I guess like. I just... never even knew what they were. I was just like, okay, I'll just bring them in. I don't oh, think they, I yeah. Understood. If you gave them, they, the school would get like a check for like if you gave them five hundred. Ten, Ten cents, cents per box stop. What is the point? <laughs> I guess they to incentivize people. They made a deal with schools and buying the products and just well, saying they, like it would encourage people to buy the products it's yeah it's fucking capitalism they're yeah. like kids buy our product and we'll give you money back so you'd make little lifelong loyalty members out of the kids damn Are you guys gerber babies what is that no remember gerber babies i mean yeah. i know what it is it's like but... a way of like saving for college is that like, oh right i thought it's it was like a, like a way to like brand. walk in i thought gerber babies. i just think of like the little baby models that yeah say i thought it was babies. a food brand like gerber food Yes, but like being a Gerber baby is like a way of setting up your college savings. Am I totally wrong on that? I don't know. No, I, what, just you might be. the commercials it. where it'd be like, be a Gerber baby. Sign up to be a Gerber baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I have to pee so bad. All right. Well, we did an hour. An hour, yeah. Okay. An hour of nostalgia. Was that good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not saying anything. I know, but your face is like. What was your favorite, uh, like fast food toys? <laughs> like Spy McDonald's. Kids and McDonald's Spy Kids. Hell yeah, Burger King, Rugrats, oh, the r watches uh, for Rugrats. I feel like seeing toys from fast food gives me a lot of nostalgia, but I can't like think of them on my own. But yeah. when I see them, I'm like holy I, shit! But remember when McDonald's did the mini Beanie Babies yeah, or whatever? That was the, oh, best. Yes. And the lines would be fucking crazy <laughs> for those. People Beanie just babies. had nothing to fucking do in the nineties. It's Sunday. What do you want to do? Yeah, I don't know. Let's go have, like, stand in for four hours in a in a line for a McDonald's <laughs> fucking Beanie Baby. Like, would never do that now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'll order it online. Yeah. Just I'll get it on eBay Amazon. or Craigslist. <laughs> Do you ever like feel like when you see videos of people in the '90s, they look like they're like? Obviously, when you see videos of someone like from the 1800s or like the 1910s, they're like going about their day. They're like, "What a weird world they lived in." <laughs> yeah. Sometimes like night people in the '90s look sometimes so strange because they're yeah. like they're getting on phones, they're getting yeah. on the internet, they're trying to find information, but like they're kind yeah. of lost, but trying to be on top of it. 
it's there's like a little like they look like further now it's away like we have needed. the information we're chill we're like okay that's what's happening but yeah. people in the 90s are like to me what's like, going on do you yeah. see that in the paper yeah yeah oh let me look oh we're getting word that this is happening yeah. like it's all this like hubbub sometimes it is I'm weird like, also to look at people in the 90s or even like early 2000s and it looks like it's so long ago and you're like these people are look but it's it's like we were those people yeah and oh, you're yeah. like there's or, like you'll see on tiktok high school in 2006 and i'm like those are yeah i was I in high those. school in 2006 yeah. and it looks but it looks like you're looking at people's parents and you're like there's just this weird dynamic of you never like noticed that was the, us yeah you know what i'm bummed about i'm bummed that we were also like in a real shitty digital age where our resolution <laughs> sucked we i went know from like these awesome like 90s kids VHS had these awesome cameras. vhs cameras and then it dips and we're on like 4.2 megapixel yep, yep. digital stuff where it's like yeah just <laughs> shitty like, oh you mean like cell phone from videos shoots? Oh, yeah oh, oh. we yeah. had this really shitty dip and like it was the everything. digital video recording so all of our stuff like the pictures aren't that good the the video quality is not that good yeah and then the next generation suddenly got iphones that have had great ways of capturing yeah. all their yeah. memories and now yeah. all of them buy disposable cameras yeah, yeah. yeah. right <laughs> but those are pretty good quality i will yeah. say Print, turn that flash on yeah that's a good point like i we went on a vacation one time my brother had this like tiny little piece of shit camera and we recorded the whole vacation on it and it's like one one fucking <laughs> pixel the whole thing yeah like you can't see anything you can't yeah. hear anything and it, it's just it's just like one black and white pixel just like going like this you're like what is, it was a whole family vacation like, just there's nothing worse than a cell phone like flip yeah. camera video that was like this is like a game boy awful. camera you said yeah, game boy <laughs> yeah. camera okay those. everyone we got a game so huddle up everyone we're gonna take a photo on the game boy i don't know why but i had that and then i bought or i got as like a birthday present the game boy camera printer oh my god that so was actually really off cool the photos which was yeah. like cool and you but put like those like emojis like yeah. over people's eyes yeah. and mouth and ears yeah it was like kind of fun but it was also so dumb at the same time mm -hmm. what a crazy piece of technology though to put a game boy a camera and a printer like it's so it archaic insane. feeling to me. Yeah. It's like everything's bulky. It's, and like, it's like you discover that bonk. in a cave and be like, wow, look at how primitive these people were. I yeah. love the design of the Game Boy camera, though. I thought it was like, the it was like bubble? a big eyeball. Yeah. Like it was, there's something quirky yeah, and you cool. You could flip it around, too, I think. Yes. I'm like, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you ever had a Game Boy? Um, I don't think so. Huh. Game oh, Boy I was, was dying for insane. a Game Boy. I was like, I need to play. I'll it was play. insane. Like Pokemon, when it came out on the mm -hmm. Game Boy took over the fucking school mm -hmm. <laughs> you everybody you go in the lunchroom and it was like cell phones everyone's just looking down playing their pokemon what is the pokemon theme song or wait not gotta the catch TV. them all game boy i don't know game boy uh, that's skype <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's not weird dun, 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 dun. oh that's when you're battling yeah <laughs> Hmm. I bet those sounds would bring you nostalgia. He just like YouTubed. Mm -hmm. I anytime I see a TikTok account that's like Dumb. nostalgia '90s, I follow it. I just love coming across it's nostalgia so stuff because they'll find stuff that you can't rem like the erasers that you would put on top of your pencil, the little triangle ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, would never think about that in a million years. <laughs> I know. And it's like, yeah, I used to have those, or like the pink erasers that you would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like stick your pencil in. Yeah, it. yeah, sticking your. Oh, I love, love just thinking doing about. That. All, and then the com the top comments is always like, have any of us ever had an original thought before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like we, we all the all exact same. We've all been there. Yeah. Except for Gen Z, he's like, I have never been yeah, there, actually. <laughs> never well, done this. I really got to pee. Okay. All right. Well, we can wrap this up. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for taking a stroll down memory lane with us. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys enjoy our other episode as well. And all of the other episodes that we've also uploaded on this channel of episodes. Um. <laughs> Matt's like, I have to pee. Please okay. follow us. We'll see you next week, see everybody. You next week.